Today we've got some film soup coming right up. So what is film soup? Film soup is when you take a roll of film, most commonly 35 millimeter color negative film, and soak it or soup it in various liquids before you develop it. Now the purpose of this is it can give you all kinds of interesting colors and streaks and patterns and designs and funky effects in your images. You can soup the film before you shoot it, but if you do that, you run the risk of contaminating or gunking up your camera. So I think it's safer and more common just to soup it after you've shot it. Speaking of contamination, it's best practice to go ahead and develop this in an old C41 kit so you don't run the risk of contaminating or ruining brand new or fresh chemicals. Now, because there is a little bit of risk of contamination, I wouldn't send this out to a lab. I think it's better if you just do it yourself at home. All right, for our wine selection, we have a lovely 2013 California Syrah called Boombox. And since this is film soup, we're gonna break out our finest Campbell's Soup mug. And our film of choice today is Fuji Color Superior Extra 400. All right, bottoms up. Go ahead and take the film out. And as good as this wine smells, I'm gonna go ahead and dump it because it's been mixed with the emulsion. Don't recommend drinking it. And the next step will be rinse the film with warm water. All right, we're gonna go ahead and let this film dry for a while. And I am gonna probably give another uh, pre-rinse when I get ready to develop it. But uh, I'm gonna dry it off a little bit just so it's a little bit easier to load onto the reel. So the images you're about to see were again shot on Fuji Superior Extra 400 in my Canon Rebel, and then developed in an old Sinisto CS41 color simplified kit that I ran 19 rolls through, and then scanned with my Epson V550.
You can see there's a pretty wide gamut here, ranging from a very pronounced effect in images like the shoes hanging from the power lines to almost no effect in images like some of the portraits of my son. And there's a lot of variables at play here. First of all, there's the type of liquids that you use. Things like, again, wine, vinegar, cider, detergent, lemon juice. There's the temperature of the liquids. There's the amount of time you let the film soak in the soup. There's how much agitation or how much you stir the soup. The possibilities are virtually endless. Now, I had fun with this experiment. I do plan on doing more film soup with various liquids in the future. If you want to catch that video and all future episodes of The Old Camera Guy, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. If you want to see results from other photographers' film soup, I'll leave links to videos by SRAD and Film is More Fun down below in the description. Thanks again for watching, and until next time, do some good, have some fun, and shoot some film.